Duran, smile, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm loving getting to know this incredible team of unbelievably talented young athletes. Of course, we've been reporting over the last couple of weeks ahead of the 30th edition of the much-anticipated Summer University Yard. The Team South Africa had a goal of bringing home at least eight medals. Well, the team managed to achieve something truly remarkable in Napoli, Italy, winning no less than 18 medals, six golds eight silver and four bronze medals. Incredible achievement. Team South Africa gave it their all, breaking records along the way, making memories, because that's what it's all about. Um, and I think just giving us hope for the future. It is so competitive at these games. So here to talk about their experience, their achievements, please welcome uh, the uh, president, um, um, Ilham Grunewald of USA. We absolutely love her. We've had her on the show before. And athletes Ashley, Duran, Rualdo, and Anthony. Guys, um, I almost said happy birthday because that's how it feels. Um, guys, <laughs> congratulations. Welcome. Ilham, um, can we get a round of applause, first of all, actually, for Team yeah. South Africa? Just... I, I, I'm loving, I was just looking at your engagement here. This is, this is like a, a family vibe. There is so much going for South African sports at the moment at this level. You exceeded expectation. What, was, what clicked? What happened? How did you go over with one kind of mindset? And what was that X factor that just elevated the team to 18 medals? Well, it is happy birthday, first and foremost, Graeme. We're celebrating 25 years yeah. of a unified organization being University wow. Sports South Africa. So... This has been a wonderful um, achievement for us. So what did we do differently? Because in 2017, we were extremely unhappy about our performance. We only ended 44th, um, and that was definitely not good enough. Not we, reflective of, of the talent. Yeah. Absolutely. There are, there are youngsters within our university system that we knew can come out and, and step up to the plate. So we went back to the drawing board. Our council um, meeting told us that we need to get back on track, and that's exactly what we did. So it was a lot of planning, a lot of earlier planning, and I think the one and a half years has certainly paid off. Um, and some amazing performances along the way. Ashley, just show that, that medal there, if you don't mind, man. <laughs> Yay. First of all, are you mad? The 3,000 meter steeplechase has got to be one of the most difficult events. What, what was the experience like, and, and how are you feeling with that rather heavy new piece of jewelry around your neck, man? Um, firstly, um the medal didn't come as a surprise. Um, we approached the season with the objective of winning more students. I love that. So, but apparently my, my pace wasn't good enough on the day and I felt short. Don't be so hard on yourself, but, man. I, I know you guys <laughs> hold yourself to a pretty high standard, but... Um, but the experience, um, for me, the, exp the how can I say, um, experience wasn't, the op wasn't about the medal, but it was sharing that experience with these guys and sharing this achievement with them that made it special. Um, I, I can feel the brotherhood. I mean, it's, it's an important thing representing your, your country, but you still got to go out there and actually get through it. Duran, what was the experience like for you? So what did you compete in, first of all? I competed in the 800 meter event. So the experience for me was quite booming, you know, because this was the first time me being on a global stage and competing against other athletes, you know. So it's quite tough in a, going into the heats and the semi-finals because all of us are on, on the same level, but then it comes to tactics, you know. Yeah. So that was the first time running against guys with different tactics, approaching the, the race from a mental aspect as well, you know. But it was a great experience for me. Because, and, and maybe I can, I can move on to you, Anthony. The, the fact that you are, are competing against the very best, and you guys all know each other in a South African context, you compete against each other a lot. Um, your mates or your, your kind of mortal enemies a lot of the time, but just taking that step up, going into an international field, how did that feel? Did that light the spark for the next stage of your journey as an athlete? Well, uh, first of all, for me, it was a great honor to represent my country at such a stage, you know. Um, being there part of all those uh, top class athletes. What did you compete in, sorry? I did the 21K. That was actually my first, uh, <laughs> my first 21K. And it, it was tough, but I've gained a lot of valuable experiences. And I'm looking forward to the, to the future. It was also my last opportunity to represent South Africa at the World Student Games, but that was uh, not my last goal. So I'm looking forward to the next World Championships, to the Olympic Games. So yeah, this yes, was this a stepping stone to the Olympic Games for me. And if it happens in every other sporting genre, if, it ha if it's happening in rugby, that guys are playing a, a season of rugby at varsity and then progressing into the national team, it should be happening. The varsity athletics is just so strong. We love what you guys are doing. Rivaldo, first of all, what did you compete in? Um, I competed in the 5,000 meters. 
trying to think which is more difficult, man. It's, um, <laughs> they're so intense. That is a very competitive distance. Um, how, how did it feel for you being up against the best? Um, did you feel like you were representing your country in that moment? Or does it feel like, okay, this is now me as an individual. I've got to, I've got to dominate. How do you kind of fight that battle? I think when you move to an international stage and you compete um, against all these athletes in the world, you're not only representing your country, but you're representing your community and the place yes. where you come from. So you're not only representing yourself because it's not, you didn't achieve it as an individual. There was a whole team like who were part of the team like to, su to support you all the way. So as these guys, they're not only my, my, my national teammates, but they're also my university teammates because we attend the same university. What, what varsity is that? As UWC, University of the Western Cape. So we gain a lot of experience, not just from the World Students Games, but from each other as well. So we know each other from, from age 15, and we've been, been competing against each other from Pushing age 15. Each other, yeah. And for us to be there with each other and sharing the, that experience with each other was an amazing feeling because we set a goal out last year that all of us must make the, the university team, the, SA, the national team. So we achieved that goal and just to, to, to be a part of that team is just, was just mind blowing. Oh man, I'm, I'm wishing I had like some kind of athletic ability and I was a lot younger <laughs> right now because it just feels so cool. I can see how proud you are, Elam. Congratulations. Graeme, if I may, just in terms of um, information around the Summer University Art. So we, there was 140 plus countries, 8,000 participants. Team South Africa consisted of 178. We had six sporting codes that competed. So I think making a finals at these uh, uh, games, level, yeah. it's, it's an amazing achievement. And uh, there are so many great stories to be told. Um, and I've listened to a couple of them during the games. And I believe that is the power of sport. Uh, university sport is a major contributor towards um, the rest of the sport industry in South Africa. Vital. So if you look at uh, uh, top athletes like um, Sambini, yeah. Caster, Wade, they all come from a university setup. And I think that's the amazing work that we're doing. And we are confident that as South Africa, winning 18 medals, it's a tough call for 2021. Yeah. But I'm confident that we can go past the 18 medals. It's just the start. <laughs> it's just the start. Okay. Absolutely love you guys. Been thinking which is the toughest um, race. 21 cases has got to take it, man. Um, congratulations. <laughs> you can give them another round of applause as we go to a quick break. We'll see you now.